Hey guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. Last year was hectic and I did start recording some videos, but life took over and here I am again. I hope you're enjoying what I've already uploaded. Uh, my first video that came out this year, Had Enough, was an awesome experience. Well, it was my first video after a very long time, but I'll be doing another video on that. Uh, if not, thank you for tuning in. And like I said, I had uploaded my other videos. So my second single, What Would I Do? What would I do if I had a boy like you? Welcome back. Here it is, 2020. So much has happened and so much is happening. However, there was one thing that did happen to me last year that I wasn't fully open with. Last year, in April, I was going to LA. Uh, I was going to LA, I don't know if you guys remember, uh, I was taking some hair courses on how to you know, learn new techniques and learn different styles. Uh, so that was an awesome opportunity. And before going to LA, like any lady out there, when you have roots, I wanted to get my roots done. The two ladies usually that do take care of me were not available for XYZ reasons. So I decided to go to another lady that I've known for a while, and I know that she's been in the business uh, for more than 25 years. They have a big salon in Montreal. I loved you know, the selection of colors that were showcased. So I said, okay, she really knows because their salon, they're like specialists in coloring. So you assume that after so long they're doing good and the work is good, that they're good. So I went, I called, I made my appointment, super happy. I saw my colorist, which is one of the owners. We started talking. I told her that I was in the industry as well. Uh, anyways, long story short, we totally connected before she starts and I told her, you know, um, I trust you and I'm sure you're going to like kill it. She started doing her stuff and from my point of view what I saw everything was good uh I told her you know do you want to use my bleach no don't worry I'm like are you sure she's like trust me and I said fine you know because I didn't want to kill her vibe and uh she starts doing her work everything seems good she's washing the back first because that's where she started she's rinsing it she's applying heat if necessary I mean I told her everything that was done on my hair so she already knew because, I mean, I'm a colorist as well, right? She's, you know, applying some stuff. I'm like, oh, that's the toner. And she's like, no, I don't use toners. What do, you, what, what do you mean you don't use? She's like, I'm not using the toner. It's this other type of product that I have from Italy. So I said, okay, maybe they call it something different. They call it like a neutralizer. Okay, I'm not gonna say anything until the end. I don't wanna stress her out. I don't wanna be that person. You know, I wanna, I want to leave the artist do its thing and the other times that i've done it it always was magical so i've never really had a hard time so i see like my hair is all like in a little ball like a little like it looked weird it felt weird and i'm like okay are you gonna blow dry my hair she's like no i only do color like you've been in the business for 25 years and you only do color like and this is your salon like you should be doing everything in case people don't come and you know you, you got to be the captain of the boat. The work in front, uh, the highlights were very choppy, were very yellow. I have some pictures. Look at that. This is uh, this picture that I'm showing right now is when I was in the car. I was sending uh, a selfie to my fiance just to show him. Um, and since she didn't apply a toner, I figured, okay, I'll just apply a toner when I get home. And I was going to do a little root effect to kind of remove the splotchiness. From what I saw. I'm just not vibing my hair. It feels horrible. It's dry. It's lifeless. It's like I get home and I ask Fred, I go, babe, can you please take a picture in the back? And this is what he shows me. Like really? And the other shots. Look at that. It's disgusting. And the worst part is that she doesn't blow dry my hair. She doesn't say anything to me. 
And while I'm trying to struggle to blow dry the front part of my hair, she's just standing beside me telling me how beautiful, how natural this looks. Look at that work. What is that? The audacity, the audacity to do that to somebody. I'm lucky that I'm a hair colorist. So I freaked out when I saw those pictures. When I turned around and he showed me and I was like looking through my phone, I freaked out, I started crying, I started screaming. I literally started ripping out my hair because I couldn't believe it. I go, this is my head. I go, this is Blanquita. I'm like, are you serious? I've always pride myself in having such beautiful hair, no matter what color it's been. And this is it. Like even when I've done my own highlights, this woman is there doing it and you see all those splotches and the breaking was so bad that the back of my head, so basically from the bump down, like my hair was about this length and it chopped all the way to like my neck. All this part on top, as you can see, was chopped. This part was like reduced to nothing. They had some little hairs, but those broke off after. And I sent her a message. What is this? The worst part is that she doesn't even assume it. Oh my God, I don't know what happened. It could have been a chemical reaction. Really? A chemical reaction? Are you freaking kidding me? So you're telling me that I left your salon with the most spectacular head of baby lights ever, right? On the way to my home, my hair fell off, burnt, uh, splotches, all kinds of stuff, nasty ass color. Are you kidding me? That's what just was my blood. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're a completely dishonest person. And for a woman of your age and your so-called professionalism, that is zero professional. That's zero kind, you know? And on top of it, you're doing it to someone who's already a colorist. So how do you treat your clients that really have full blind faith in you? What does that say about you as a person? I demanded my money back because she had completely, completely shattered and ruined my hair. It was so bad that when my hair dried, I was able to feel the difference on my head. I lost literally more than 50% of my hair. My scalp was burned, my hair was burned. I was destroyed and I was leaving to LA in one week when this happened. So obviously two days later, I mean, I do my own color correction. So look at that. Look at that color. I did a beautiful like mushroom blonde and I had to smudge it with a dark root to cover all of her disaster. I was going to pull a Britney. I was about to take the razor and shave off my head. And Fred was like, babe, think about it. <laughs> think about it. Um, would you be able to correct something like this? Is it possible to correct it? I said, yes while I'm crying. Keep in mind this whole time I'm crying. And he's like, okay, well try that. And if that doesn't work, then you'll do something else. And I said, okay. I went to go see a talented hairstylist, Lilo, Lilo's Glam. You can check her out on Instagram. Uh, and she did a beautiful angled cut. We got rid of a lot of the deadness and everything. And that was awesome. However, you know, after that experience, I posted a picture and I said that when life hits you with lemons, you gotta make some yummy ass lemonade, right? Cause I was leaving to LA in one week. There was no time for me to be destroyed and depressed and forget everything. Cause I wasn't gonna let that stand in the way of what I was really going to LA for. It was just horrible experience to have. And that also created my scalp to be very, very sensitive. I wanted to share that experience that I know what it feels like to be the client. I know what it feels like to be deceived deceived and lied to um, and to be completely disappointed. That was a really bad experience to have. And what it taught me was that I want to better myself every day as in everything that I do, whether it's in a, as a colorist or as cutting or makeup or styling. Like I always want to push it to the next level because I don't want anyone feeling the way I did. I was dumbfounded. I never, I never, you know, I didn't give her a one star review. I didn't bash her online. Uh, that's not who I am as a person. 
But I just wanted to share this story because a lot of people didn't know why I had cut my hair. So when I had made that post, everybody was like, wow, you're so daring. You went to go get a hair like change because I had made a video before saying that I was going to go do my hair. And, you know, they saw that picture and everybody just assumed that I wanted to cut my hair short and do this radical change. But the reality of the fact was, no, I had lost. 50% of my hair. And I had already been approached by a friend who uh, was using, or is using currently as well, uh, this product called Monate. I already had made a little wash and wine in my house and I had some products. And uh, I realized when I looked at the bottles of my products, I was like, okay, wow, this stuff really seems good. And I have every single problem on the book, I probably probably have it on my hair, you know? Like, when I'm talking to you about dry, brittle hair, whatever you think is dry, I want you to multiply that by at least 20 or 25% more. No, actually like, no, like 50% more. Because it was so bad that, you know, once it was styled, it looked beautiful. But when I would wash it, I couldn't run my fingers, even in my scalp, that's how burnt and, and hard it was, you know? Um, and it would keep on falling off by chunks and falling. That's why two months later, I had to go get it cut and shorter because like, especially this part of my head was completely destroyed. So this is one year later. Look, pretty much everything is almost natural. Look how solid the hair looks too. I've been repairing it. I've been treating it and I realized that, you know what? No matter what you do, you're gonna dye your hair or not dye your hair. Everybody wants beautiful hair. Actually, give me ugly hair. No, people don't say that. Everybody wants to make their hair look better because everybody's hair is different. But if you can have it at your best, that's what everybody wants. They want their hair to look good. So when I was in this dilemma, I was already, like I said, introduced to Monet. And I discovered these products that are amazing. There's quite a few that I love, but I don't want to overwhelm everybody. So I'm going to talk about my three products that I have here that I love and that I recommend. Um, I'm going to start first with the Rejuvenique oil. This oil is like liquid gold. You don't need to put a lot. This lasted me and I used it a lot. I used it on my hair. I used it on my scalp. I also used it. I don't know if some people have followed me on Instagram, but last year I was doing a radio frequency. When I did my research, it was told that it's great for healing properties. Uh, and I used that on my face scalp treatments. I was diagnosed before with seborrheic dermatitis with my hair incident. Since I had pieces of bleach that were stuck on my scalp and it irritated me so much because I literally parts of my hair, I had like a one centimeter to my scalp of hair left. Uh, my scalp was super sensitive and this helped a lot. It's gonna give you a lot of shine, so you don't put a lot. I'm gonna put maybe three and maybe that's a little bit too much, but I wanna just put three. <laughs> I put some on my skin earlier before I did my makeup. So I'm gonna keep it like that and I'm gonna heat it up. And now I'm just gonna put it on the ends of my hair. Cause this, not only that it's gonna help the shine, but it strengthens. And it smells divine. It has this nice citrus, fresh smell. It's not too heavy, so it's not something that is gonna stay stuck, but it's just, it's light enough to make it feel like, like heaven in a bottle. It's not another hair oil and it's not another serum. There's a lot of things you could put on your hair and your hair could look super duper shiny, but they could be filled with silicones and they can have a lot of fillers that are actually, with long-term use, will make your hair dull and will make it resistant to absorb anything, okay? So that's the importance, like I said. What I learned, I learned a lot from this experience. I learned as a professional how I want my relationship and the experiences with my guests to be with me. And I also learned the importance of very good products, right? Because I was in a situation where it was like either I was gonna buy a wig or, you know, treat my hair or shave it off. What's my only option left? I'm gonna invest 
and a good hair one. So this oil is the first oil, Rejuvenique oil. It could be used for your skin or for your hair. And it has 13 plus natural plants and essential oils that are acting as antioxidants, which is great because it's stimulating your hair. The main ingredient of the Rejuvenique oil is Abyssinian oil. This is like a seed oil. And what makes it important or what makes it such an amazing oil is for the high percentage of the unsaturated fat that it has in this oil, which acts like a shield to protect, but also to repair and to nourish. So that was like the star, plus they add the other essential oils and natural plants and bring it to its peak and bring it together to like create the perfect magical combination, which is the rejuvenic oil. This lasted me like 10 months and I used it on my face for like a long time, day and night. You can apply this before your serum. You can apply and mix it in with your hydrating cream. If you feel like it's not enough or you want it at night to add a little bit of that extra uh, repair. Some studies say that antioxidants can actually prevent hair loss. So I'm gonna show you a little diagram here. And you see that follicle part, it helps it to prevent from shrinking. Keeping it plump and keeping it the way it is in good health is gonna stimulate the hair to grow. Strong, beautiful, and shiny. And you can even put this on children. If they have cradle cap, that's Sibirarch dermatitis. You can put this on their scalp, on babies, on children. You could do it as a, a little ointment. Uh, I highly suggest this one. If you're gonna try out Monate, this is something great to start off with. Uh, and just to get the feel of the company and their textures and their vision. Monate was our particular name. I'm like, what does Monate mean, right? Cause it's not really a word. Uh, it's a combination of two things that I enjoy. Modern nature. And they brought it together. And by bringing it together, they actually brought the name together. So that's why they say Monate and it's not Monat. No, Monate. Because we're from like Monate, Monat, Monat, Monate. Which one is it? Uh. <laughs> Another fun fact it helps rejuvenate the hair and skin. So it acts like an anti aging effect. You gotta keep that in mind. Our hair is like skin. It's just in a different form. So if we're gonna put all the anti-aging creams on our face, but we're not gonna take care of our hair, that's why the hair loses luster, volume, body, shine. You need to invest in your hair to have beautiful hair. So now I spoke about the oil, we're gonna go to the shampoo, right? Because you really need to follow through a whole program to really see the full beneficial effect of it. I present to you the Monate Black. It's a shampoo and conditioner, and it's for him and her. <laughs> I just made it wrong. <laughs> so fun fact, it cleanses and conditions while maintaining an essential balance and hydration to your hair. It contains peppermint, and peppermint acts like an anti-inflammatory. It's good for dandruff, for psoriasis, for eczema, itchy scalp, and it also soothes your skin and balances the pH, which basically means that I get some people, my scalp is super oily. I wash it and I have to wash my hair every single day because if I don't, it's stuck to my face. Do you or someone you know have that problem? Maybe. And the peppermint, that's what it does. Fact number two. It supports the natural regrowth of your hair due to the fact it has a peppermint that's gonna help stimulate your scalp and create a nice flow of oxygen to strengthen that follicle. Key ingredients. This is what's fun with Monate. Now, I gave you the whole spiel on the Rejuvenique oil. I told you how good it is for you, products that are involved, what it does. So like I said, remember, it's liquid gold. So one, two drops goes a long way. 
What's fun with these products is that it contains that oil in your shampoo or in the conditioner. Practically all Monate products contain the Rejuvenique oil, which is amazing. Even the hairspray. So people who use a lot of hairspray, you should get this one because it's awesome. Honestly, I do not like hairspray for myself, but this is the only hairspray that I love to use because it doesn't stink. Uh, and at the same time, it's working, but the Rejuvenique oil is keeping your hair healthy and creating that beautiful shine and nourishing it at the same time. Another key ingredient, number two, it's Capixil. It's an emollient blend that helps protect your scalp. So we don't wanna over dry it. Remember, if you over dry or if you over stimulate your scalp, you have two ways that your hair can go. You can go either dry with dandruff, itchiness, sores, or it can get really oily. So that helps maintain the balance. And another great ingredient contains procatalin. Now this is a pea extract and it helps against environmental damages because the pollution affects everything, not just our skin, but our hair. See, this is why you got to invest in yourself, ladies. So my other fave product, this is the Intense Repair Conditioner. This helps also with hair loss because I was losing so much hair and I was scared that it was starting to come from my scalp and not so much from only the broken hair. Because like I said, when she burned it so bad, it was super sensitive. It was very delicate. So. Um, they have the shampoo for this. This is the shampoo is something apart. It's meant more for people to use it in combination with another shampoo. This is also great for hair loss, by the way. Like this is a good team if you're experiencing mild hair loss. If you have extreme hair loss, you would want to add in the intense repair shampoo and then alternate with the black. So you would alternate the shampoos one time with one, the other and always finish it with the Intense Repair Conditioner because this helps really strengthen the hair. So, Intense Repair Conditioner. It contains Capixel and the Rejuvenique Oil, so you're getting all of those benefits while you're conditioning your hair. It also will help you stimulate and soothe your scalp since it also does contain the peppermint because I've noticed that in a lot of uh, hair loss or hair treatment shampoos, they always have that peppermint minty feeling and you do feel that freshness. The shampoo has it and this has it. So definitely you get like that nice cooling sensation. So it's fun, but it's not too overwhelming, but it's, it's, it's a nice feeling. Just don't get it in your eyes. And also, at the same time, it repairs and it hydrates your hair. You can also get these products on my website. I'm going to put the link down below. You can buy them retail, or if you wanna say 15%, you can sign up for a VIP and get a whole bunch of different little perks throughout the way. This was my story. I hope that, you know, I was able to relate to some of you. I know I've seen as a stylist and colorist myself, I've had people come to my chair with really bad hair and the main problem has been usually hair loss or hair thinning and then really bad coloring. So I can definitely identify and feel the pain. It's been a year and uh, like I said, it did affect me a lot, but I tried to make some yummy lemonade with my lemons. Cause guess what? I had no choice. So I had to make the best out of it. And now I'm really happy that I was able to invest in a good hairline. I said, I'm not gonna color my hair for now anymore. I'm gonna leave it natural. I'm going to enjoy the dark side. That's my journey. That's what I did. Like I said, I'm going to be putting the link down of my website so you guys can go check that out and learn about the company. They have a hair quiz there. You can take it as well if you want and see what recommendations they offer you. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoy all the material that I'm going to be providing for you. I'm using it as my own platform to be able to express myself. I am by profession a colorist, a makeup artist, but you know, I'm also a mom, I'm also a wife, I'm also, you know, a daughter, I'm a human, and I do so many other things that I enjoy. So that's why I made the decision. I want to share with everybody what I do 
because why not? And if I can inspire and be inspired, like I said, that's always what I'm going for. So I hope you enjoy all the content that I bring out. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell because I am already working on a lot of different material. So you're gonna have a lot of stuff coming out from me. Let me know what you would love to learn and what you would want me to talk about. I feel so blessed to be here and enjoy your time in your quarantine. Stay home, stay safe, and just stay positive. All right? Take care. Bye.